This is Brandy Arnaud of Brandy Arnaud Fine Art. And today we're going to do another Christmas mouse. It's been about, oh, I'd say about a week since I've painted. And I'm a little bit wondering how well this is going to come out. So this is, like I said, if you're going to make mistakes and correct them, this is the time to do it. All right, so I'm going to have a little, um, a little mitten on the mouse there. And... See, I'll have the mouse maybe the t the sweater will come down here um, I suppose I will have a um, scarf there and the tail I want it to be where it's going back into the painting instead of it going straight out. Um, okay. I'm going to Maybe this mouse will have his ears coming down out just a little outside of the... Of course, I don't want it to look like a, a little sheep, so we'll have, to, we'll have to be careful there. And again, excuse my hand, but I do not like that face. It does look like a sheep. I don't know what we're going to do. Okay. So let's see, try to get the color of the mouse here. There's going to be uh, color notes at this point. So I'm going to put, make it a bit darker down here. You can see it's darker. I'm also picking up some of the drawing color to just... I guess neutralize it. Now the ears, boy, that's a problem in my mind. Um, they can't, they are obviously, these ears are being pressed down. So if we think of that, we know that the inside part of the ear is not showing. It's, it's more going to be the outside of the ear covering the inside of the ear. So the inside of the ear is really not going to be visible. 
but I will make a suggestion just for the cuteness factor. Just a tad. Well, that doesn't really read well. That might. Oh, hang on. Okay, we got that settled. So now we're going to come up with a white hat. Um, and that may be a mistake on my part, but I think I'm going to try a white hat. So, yeah, you know what? That isn't going to work because... I want to have the the little snowball area, which I'm, it's the pom-pom. I'm calling it a snowball, but I'd like to have that white. So we'll probably give him a red, yeah, a nice red sweater and cap, knitted cap. Again, this is color notes, so I'm going to put that here. I'm not, I'm not going to actually, eh, I may put it, I may put it all the way through here. I guess I could do that. Again, see how I'm picking up the boundary colors? And when I say boundary, I mean the color that I used to draw in the mouse. Okay, so I'm putting in local color here. And I've decided to have the mouse um, with a red uh, hat, knitted hat, and a sweater that would be red. And I don't know if you can see, but I'm going to try to zoom the camera in but right through here I have picked up the drawing color and let that go into the local color of the hat and why I did that is so that it grays down the color and it makes it look like it's part of the background which it is the the brightest part of this will be right through here. So the rest of it needs to be nullified or grayed down. And I'm going to do the same thing right through here. I have wiped my brush um, so that I'm going to pick up some color here, which is the drawing color, and put it just under here. What am I going to do for the scarf? And this, I really want it to be a green, and it's reading more like a gray. Uh, but it's it's kind of it's very close in value to both of these. Uh, but I think for now I'm going to keep it there. Okay, so some of the background color got into this and I'm painting over the, um, the the mitten all right so what I forgot to do and I can take care of it right now is have a shadow I've got to determine where my light is coming from and in this case it's coming from the right so this, this needs to be darker here. Anything that's away from the light needs to be dark. So let's see what we can do. We want it to read that it's, that it's white. We still have to pay attention to the rule that says that it's in the light or it's not in the light. So I'm going to have the top of the gift just at this point. There. So we have a box that the mouse is carrying at this present time, and that's good enough.
okay. So he looks like he's floating, and that's because I haven't put any cast shadow in. That needs to happen. So I'm going to go back to a darker, a darker brush that I have. Um, this was a lighter brush, as you can see, what I did the background in. Now I'm working again on the mouse, and I want to pick up my darker brush. And that's because I'm going to try to get this mouse grounded with a cast shadow. So let's see. And of course, once I get the feet painted it also. So now the, the cast shadow, because the light is coming from the right, actually will come out through here more. And I'm going to go back to my ultramarine, not French ultramarine, but ultramarine and transparent iron oxide and see about making some boots. So I think we can start to develop this mouse.